I'll take you around for a semi-fast lap first with a heavy car to show you all the braking markers in action and then we'll talk in more in depth about the corners so turn number one you want to be in between the 100 meter board and 50 board as close to the 50 as you can manage break into the corner not for the corner break into the corner as soon as you're off the brake start accelerating get that throttle planted three quarters of the way down this curb break fourth gear short squirt third gear Bring it round, high or low, whatever your delta sets faster, take it to the exit curb. Just let the car drive itself onto that curb. You just guide it. Here you can either lift off or brake. I like to brake. Brakes are designed to keep you fast, not slow you down. When the pylon goes out of view, down to second or third gear, accelerate hard softly softly on the brakes bring it round late apex now the throttle really feeling those traction through the rear tires again like turn one as close to the 50 board as you can manage but look for it with your peripheral vision so you can focus on the apex bring it round to the exit curb really floor it as soon as you feel those tires grip up just before the curb on the exit here <laughs> entrance even and then bring it round to finish the lap. Anticipate the pull to the left and finish the lap. Once you're confident around here, break in, uh, directly in between the 50 and 100, about 75, then get closer and closer to the 50 board, breaking full pressure into the corner. And then as soon as you finish braking, nail the throttle really feel those rear tires grip out if you're getting a lot of understeer on corner exit as well what you're likely doing is releasing the brakes too early so make sure you keep the brake applied even just ever so slightly until you're ready to accelerate if you're not if you're not braking you should be accelerating if you're not accelerating you should be braking minimize coasting as much as possible unless you're practicing right braking zone is around about here near the end of the curb just over three quarters of the way down fourth gear bring it round clip the curb short squirt of the throttle and then whichever line you pick whichever one your delta says go for choose you can go really high you don't get an off track and then let it go out to the exit curb Now here you can either lift off and brake. I like to brake because brakes aren't designed to slow me down. They're to keep me fast. Touch the apex. Hit the curb here. Keep it tight to the left. Dab with the brakes. Bring it round. And then nail it onto this curb. Don't be afraid of this curb. When the pylon goes out of view. Second gear. Third gear. Get it turned. Using the brakes to steer it. And then softly, softly on the brakes here. Softly, softly. And go and then at the 50 board just before the 50 board second or third gear bring it round we'll do one more lap explaining everything and then we'll do one more push lap I really hope this has helped so on this exit anticipate the ball to the left So as close to the 50 board as you can without locking up, breaking into the corner. Bring it round onto the exit curb. Three quarters of the way down or just near the end. Clip this curb, short squirt, third gear. Second works as well if you want, onto the exit curb. Absolutely floor it as early as you can. This car can handle it, especially with the, the banking. Either lift off or brake. It's up to you. Bring it around, hit the apex. End of the curb here. Slight stab of the brakes. Pylon goes out of view on the curb. Second gear, third gear. Bring it round nice and wide and then back to the right again. Softly, softly on the brakes. Gently, gently on the exit. Feeling the traction. The car's now as close as you can get to the 50 board. 
This car can handle full brake pressure. Bring it around and go. Brake at the curb just before the curb. Fourth gear. Nail it on the way out. Flat to the floor straight away. Hit this curb if you want and then anticipate the pull to the left and we're ready for our final lap. As close to the 50 board as you can manage. Down to second or third gear. Bring it round. Soon as you stop braking, start accelerating. Floor it as soon as you feel the grip in the rear tires. End of the curb. Fourth gear. Short squirt. Third gear. Ing it round. Accelerate hard. And onto the exit curb. Keep it tight. Then keep it tight to the left over the curb. Over this curb a little. It's a bit bumpy. As soon as you start to turn, brake bring it round hit the curb keep it left after the curb brake floor it out of this turn pylon disappears second or third gear depends how much confidence you have I suppose a little bit of a break bring it keep the brake on and then nail it just before the apex watch that traction coming out of there there's not a lot of grip it's very slidey as close to the 50 board as you as you dare third gear or second Either one works, and then nail it out of there. Fourth gear, bring it round, clip the grass if you want, flat onto the floor, touch this curb if you want, avoid or anticipate the bump. And that's a lap of Zandvoort. I really, really hope this helped. This is my first circuit guide. It's quite tricky, actually. It looks easy watching other people do it, but I really hope that this helped someone, at least. But thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck this weekend. I'm really excited for it. I really hope my wheel doesn't disconnect this time. Cheers, guys.